Shagufta Zia is a Pakistani singer who will move to New Zealand to live a better life. And now recently she has released a new album. We catch up with her to know more about the style of her music. Shagufta Zia is an award-winning singer, songwriter and composer who is originally from Pakistan. After living in Fiji for several years, Shagufta moved to New Zealand with her husband in 1995. My focus here is like folk songs actually, happy and folk songs so, and promote like our Pakistani music and culture. So in New Zealand, um, I, I'm not only um, representing Pakistan but all of our subcontinent people, music and culture. And, uh, and because I'm singer, songwriter, so sometimes I take music from my own country and, and put my own wording in them. So this is almost folk genre. Shagupta's broad range of talents and ability to sing in many languages meant that she had a very successful career in Pakistan. Oh yes, because I was a regular um, performer at TV, radio and stage. So luckily I've been, I was an uh, all-rounder. I did everything <laughs> on radio, TV and like not the limited um, area. So I did ghazal, geet, folks. Punjabi and I because I could sing in lots of dialects languages so Punjabi Urdu these are the my my own languages so that's why I I released six CDs in different styles and different dialects so and I got best singer award from TV and World award and and a pride of performance award from Benzir Bhutto and uh, and I've been like not only singing I did like praise of God and uh, like religious things as well because I try to put um, <laughs> like um, balanced everything however at the peak of her career Shagufta chose her family over her music and moved overseas. Yes, it was my peak time when, when we left Pakistan. So, because my husband was banker, so he opened Pakistani bank in Fiji. So that's why, because I am very <laughs> family-oriented person, so I all the time sacrificed everything and <laughs> just cooperate with my family and husband. So that's why we went first Fiji and then New Zealand and. Uh, in here as well, I uh, I did um, because throughout uh, throughout my life I did charity and fundraising things. So um, the there were so many opportunities to I I did voluntary work for the all the communities because New Zealand is a multicultural country. So being a multilingual and multicultural. Uh, New Zealand vocalist, so I did represent uh, New, Zealand, New Zealand's all like multicultural image, not only nationally but internationally as well. So, and I did. Uh, there's a Oxfam International Charity Organization, so I did lots of shows for the tsunami and earthquake, and a part of this I. All, all the day I've been standing uh, in front of the markets and collect fun, funds as well, like this way, because this is my passion, so, <laughs> to promote love, unity, and um, love, peace, unity, and cultural diversity things. In her lifetime, Shagufta has worked in education, business, and fashion. But music remains her passion. She is eager to pass her musical talents to the next generation. It will be continued because a uh, little little songs and like these things I could do to 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 teach them or like I I've been doing for the community purpose. 
uh, for my uh, if, uh, if national anthem or national songs. So I need group. So I always give training to so many <laughs> other children. And, uh, and I did uh, choreograph my own songs, like wedding songs and mainly songs and like these things. Adib is an executive member of the Afghan Association of New Zealand. Let's meet him to know more about the association. Well, ANZ stands for Afghan Association of New Zealand. Um, it was established in 1990 um, in response to the growing needs of the Afghan community. At the time, um, in 1990, the numbers of Afghans in New Zealand were not really high. Uh, we had probably something in the vicinity of 500 to 600 uh, people living in, um, most of them in Auckland. Uh, and that was the time when um, the community decided, or certain individuals in the community decided that we need to have uh, an organization, a community organization that should attend to the needs of the um, growing numbers of Afghans at the time. So it was established, uh, I believe, in March 1990 uh, with the aim of um, helping uh, mainly to settle, uh, to, to provide settlement services to Afghans who um, were in New Zealand at the time and also the ones that uh, were coming to New Zealand. Um, later, uh, when the number of Afghan migrants and refugees um, increased in New Zealand, then the, um, the objectives of the association or ANZ also changed with that. And the focus now is towards not so much towards settlement because most of the people um, are settled well, it is providing support for, um, for the community members, um, for our elders, also for women, and mainly for children and youth. The other challenge that we have um, at the moment is with our youth, Afghani youth, and we've got many of them uh, now um, teenagers who were um, either born in New Zealand or came to New Zealand when they were children uh, at young ages. And um, we are trying to focus on supporting them to um, basically keeping them away from the wrongs that are available easily in the wider community in terms of um, in terms of um, drug problems, drink, um, and also um, other issues, uh, and we are providing support um, by establishing martial arts um, um, club for them, and also um, teaching language, keeping them within the community. Um, um, uh, events, uh, so to say, um, and, and basically trying to have them organized within a structure within the community. But at the moment, what we have is um, we have um, classes for teaching Afghani languages to children um, on weekends. Uh, we have approximately uh, 60 children studying and we have three volunteer teachers. Um, the classes are uh, taught between 3 and 5 p.m. at the Wesley Community Hall in Sandringham. Um, we also have um, a martial art club where youth are taught uh, martial arts and that's mainly uh, because we have to firstly keep them uh, fed and secondly to keep them within an umbrella and being together uh, within uh, a sport. We also have